Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Whoa! Last person ever just defended President Trump's mental health. Holy hell! If there is one thing President Trump excels at, it's his superhuman ability to find creative and oftentimes humorous ways to get underneath the skin of the left in America. Whether he's tweeting direct insults at liberal journalists attempting to destroy his credibility or taking progressive celebrities to task on social media for their cheap clicktivism, the man just knows how to troll his opponents in epic fashion. This, among many other reasons, has caused the left to absolutely despise the ground Trump walks on and given them motivation to try their hardest to remove him from office, whether it's digging up non-existent scandals, like Russian collusion, or by questioning his mental stability. In fact, questioning his mental stability is a topic currently up for discussion thanks to a new book by Michael Wolff alleging the president has some mental issues. However, UK Prime Minister Theresa May says folks sparking up that tree are in for some bitter disappointment. UK Prime Minister Theresa May shot down concerns about President Trump's mental fitness on Sunday, saying he acts in the best interests of his country. May was forced to comment on Trump's mental state following the release of Michal Wolf's explosive book claiming some Trump advisers openly questioned the president's mental capacity for the job. Speaking with the BBC, the Prime Minister shot down any accusations against Trump, saying no to question if concerns about Trump's mental fitness were serious. When I deal with President Trump what I see is somebody who is committed to ensuring that he is taking decisions in the best interests of the United States, she added. May also reiterated that Trump will be coming to Britain for a visit, but come up short of providing exact date and details. Unfortunately, the support being shown Trump by May is not a sentiment shared among other British lawmakers. Many in Parliament have declared some of Trump's statements violate the country's hate speech laws, sparking debate about whether or not the president should be granted a full state visit. According to the report, May herself has scolded the president back in November for retweeting videos from a British far-right political group, noting it was wrong for him to do so. Trump responded with the following. Don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine. You know, if radical leftists are going to come at Trump and claim he's nuts, perhaps, if they desire to have such poppycock taken seriously, they ought to consider dropping the whole 64 genders nonsense they continue trying to push on people. It's quite hard to hear these people out on claims of concern over mental illness or other such issues when they themselves think it's perfectly acceptable and normal for a biological male to pretend he's a woman and that the rest of us must join him in his delusions.